Good morning guys, sorry for the appearance, I'm back with another video, so I know I've been going for a couple of days, I told y'all that I would be back, um, I took my son yesterday to his doctor's appointment, I couldn't film that cause I don't want him to be on YouTube, as of right now, he's only a month old, so probably in the future he'll be on YouTube, um, so yesterday went well, my son went to his appointment he had a urology appointment so he did his circumcision in the beginning of the month and then we went back for the two week checkup and everything was fine he looks good um one thing i noticed about babies like no one tells you this but some babies have baby acne my son been having baby acne once he turned a month old, they right. said within four, by four weeks or six weeks, babies would get it. So, right now, my son is six weeks. The baby acne, sorry guys, if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking down at him. The baby acne is going away. It takes a little while. But what I discovered is I noticed that the doctors would tell you don't put anything on their face. um, And to just let it. Be like, don't put any moisturizers, no Vaseline, no AMP ointment, nothing, because it'll get it'll get a little worse. So let it dry out. Sorry, he's crying. Let it dry out, and um, you know, leave it as it is. But what I did was I changed his um the stuff that I was using to bait him with, because I noticed I'm too so My hair is still. And a twist up. I'm just laying down right here in my bed, just spending time with him. So what I noticed is that um I was using let me get up and show y'all what I was using. Let me open my window to get a little bit more light because this lighting is not too good. Okay. So what I was originally using for my son was this. I was using um, the Shea Moisture Baby Wash and Shampoo. So it's like this is the coconut brand. This is the coconut. Sorry, guys. Come on, Judy. So this is the coconut um, virgin. I just said virgin coconut oil one, which is not really 100%. And I noticed that it was um, breaking his skin out. I have sensitive skin, so my son has sensitive skin as well. His dad has sensitive skin as well. So I stopped using this on him, and I just started using it on me. And I noticed, like, also what I use on him as well, sorry guys. I also use Dettol. This is like a West Indian thing, African thing. I put a little splash of water. And his, um, I put a little splash of this, sorry guys, into his little water. Not too much because this is very strong. I put a little bit in it. You see, he's crying. So, this is a raw and real life of a stay-at-home mom with a one-month-old. He's a little fussy. So, I gotta do what I gotta do to make sure he's okay. Right? So, if it interrupts the video, that's fine. But I put a little splash. Like, one... I don't put a whole capsule. A little, little splash in your water. To dilute it. Every time he goes to his doctor's appointments and we come back. Because we go to Montefiore Hospital in the Bronx. So, because he's a month old. I'm just going to keep doing this until whenever. But because he's a month old, what I do is... I make sure he shower before we go and I use this when we come back just to clear out the germs because this helps this is a germ defense antiseptic liquid and it kills 99.9% .9 germs some people may say oh that's too harsh on the baby but that's why I said put a little drop in with a lot of water also for our morning routine I will, um, I bought this soap, and I'm going to show you guys the soap, sorry, it's a little dark in here. I use this, so let me turn on the light, 
just so that I could um see. Can y'all see? It's much better. So I put this soap on him. This is called Ivory Soap. I bought a 10 pack for $10. So it's a dollar per bar. Let me give him his pacifier again. Here am I. Is. That's my son's name. So I gotta give him his pacifier because well babies they spit out the pack for 5 24 7. So you gotta you know give it to them. So I use this soap, which is I bless you, which is ivory soap, right? And this is for a gentle bar soap. And it's it says safe, pure, and clean. It helps out. Hi, Tootie. He's smiling. Hi, Tootie. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Chiggy Bye. So, it's a safe, pure, clean, trusted for duration. And it's 99.44% pure. Pure soap. And it's dermatologist tested. So, since... I've been using this because I was like, you know what? I'm not going to use all that smell good baby stuff. I'm not going to, you know. I used the Honest Company lotion on him. I had to throw it out because it was fragrancy. I can't use fragrance on my body. Whenever I use fragrance on my body, my body bumps up. I know this with my son. I cannot do that neither because he tends to bump up as well. So, um, me using the ivory soap really cleared his face it took a while it's still a little bit of more bumps like he still have a little bit of the big acne but it flattened out before it was raised on his face and now it's flattened out and um his face is starting to get clear again the way it was when he was born guys i'm looking at him right now as i'm speaking because i am a mom i'm a 24 hour mom and um my experience with motherhood right now is it's hard. It's not that easy. It's a 24-hour job. And a lot of people, you know, who, like, I'm, on, I'm still on maternity leave. He's only a month old. He'll be two months in October. But it feels like forever, and I haven't been off work for long. But um, I use those products with, I use the Dettol and I use Ivory So Dettol is when he comes back from his doctor's visits because in the hospital they got so much germs. Even though they have, you know, the air condition high and stuff like that, they have so much germs. You don't want your child to catch anything. Me, I know I don't want my child to catch not one thing because he doesn't have, he only have one vaccination. So when he gets his shots and stuff, I would bring him around others. Also, what I noticed, like, when his mouth gets a little, um, milky, because he's breastfed, what I do is I put a little bit of Listerine in a lot of water. <clears throat> and, guys, it don't burn his mouth. And I use a little rag, like, one of his little rags, and I clean out his gums, and I clean out his tongue and his lips. And it's been working out very well. I noticed that um he wants to talk too he's talking you want to talk in the video yeah so what i noticed that like once i started cleaning out his mouth there's no milk fills up which is great um also what i found out like i know that amazon has like little toothbrushes it's like i'm like it sucks but this is what i have right now because i'm um, I didn't take out my ring light because I decided to make this video right now. Um, what I noticed too is that Amazon do has a little baby two brushes, but I'm nervous because his mouth is small. Baby came out four pounds seven ounce. My baby right now he's six pounds, so I try to be careful with a lot of things that I do and put on him. Um, I don't use any powders. I want to show you what I use when I change him. So I use A and T ointment. My my grandma, she's like a grandma to me. She bought him two of these, which is big. Like my baby shower, 
she brought it to my baby shower. Guys, this I didn't even touch the surface of it yet because my child is so small. You only need a little bit of this. This is good for your kid and the ointment. Um, for his circumcision, I used um bacitracin just to make sure that you know his his penis clears up well. And when, when we went to the doctor yesterday, she told me everything was fine. Um. I'm going to have a video of things that I use for my son. And I feel like that's good to have a video up like that. And I might do it next after this video. But I just wanted to come on here and let y'all know, like, my son's one month update. He's doing good. He is six pounds now. He's talking as you can hear. He rolls around. My son has a lot of things. His doctor's appointment's been good. Even though sometimes I don't want to go, but you have to go. You know what I mean? So, you don't want CPS to be called on you while you cannot go. And, you, you know, child neglect, I don't got time for that. But, um, yes, he had baby acne and majority of it is gone. His skin is looking much better. A lot of, that's what I'm saying, like, I never knew about baby acne. I asked my mom's that know. She said me and my brothers, we all had baby acne. It's scary to new parents. Like, I'm a new mom. It's my first child. It's a scary thing because you're like, oh, my God. Like, what's my baby? What is going on? What am I doing wrong? Like, in my house, I clean, I wash his clothes by hand. I use other things. And I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do a video of the things that I use for my child. Because I think that would be great. And I and for, for mothers that are pregnant... New moms, even experienced moms, like certain things you cannot use on your child. Like I wash his clothes every week. Like all the clothes that I use from Monday to Friday, it gets washed by hand. I don't take it to the laundry mat. I live in the Bronx. I don't have a washer and dryer in my house. So I do not go to the laundry mat. I wash everything by hand, the old school way, and I hang it up on a dryer rack that I have. Which is going to be in the next video. And I'm happy that I thought of that. Because I want to show you things that I use for sensitive skin babies. Babies I cannot take, um, you know. Babies I can't take the average scented stuff. Like my son, like he is so sensitive. Like his mom, like his dad is sensitive as well. And it's so unreal. Guys, I'm sorry if I keep looking down in this video. Like I said, my son is sitting right next to me. He's sitting in his favorite little thing that I'm going to show you guys as well. He has a boppy that he loves and he sits in there. You okay, Papa? He loves his boppy. And I'm going to show you guys what to get for your child and what not to get for your child. And the things that's a waste of time. So, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. I know this video was all over the place. I'm just, you know, I was laying in my bed. I said, you know, let me get up and make a video. Why not? But so, I feel like my videos are going to be on motherhood. And if you like to watch these videos on motherhood, I'm a first-time mom. I'm still learning. So, as time goes by, I'm going to show you guys things that I use, things that I stop using, you know. I feel like that's great for me because this is my reality now. This is my new life. I am a mom. I'm not, I'm not, you know, the old breed like I used to be, which is fine because life changed. I am 28 years old. I'm going to be 29 next month. So, watch out for my next video. It's going to be in the same attire. It's going to be the same background, but it's fine. Thank you guys for com uh, coming on this video. If you're new here, welcome. If you came back, thank you for coming back. And like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye, guys.